What's going on you guys? Mugen Soul back again with another unboxing video and today we are going to be unboxing Astonishing X-Men uh, Volumes 1 through 4, the Joss Whedon and John Cassidy run. Uh, I, uh, be, uh, honestly, I have read a little bit of the first volume just because I was curious about it. Uh, I mainly picked these up just because I'm still getting into X-Men and I heard this was a good starting point. Uh, I have another unboxing video of the X Men coming soon, uh, but for now, while I work on that one, I'm gonna I picked these up, uh, volumes one through four, and I decided I'd uh, show them off. So let's start at the beginning. I, like I said, I I, I started reading a little bit of it because I couldn't help myself. But we have a uh, astonishing X Men number one, uh, gifted. I uh, we'll love the cover. You got obviously Wolverine there, Cyclops, uh, Beast. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Kitty Pride, and excuse me, the name is escaping me. Uh, Emma Frost. The name was in my head. I just could not remember. So this uh, collects. Is her name Kitty Pride? I think so. Yeah, this collects issues one through six, and there's some background art I should show. That looks very nice. I like the cover. Next up, we got uh, Volume 2, Dangerous. I love the cover there. You get Colossus on the cover. And this collects issues 7 through 12. There's another shot of Colossus. Got uh, Volume 3, Torn. Uh, I really like these covers. They're just they're really nice to look at. And this collects issues 13 through 18. There's the back. Next, we have the final, not the final volume, but in this unboxing, Volume 4, uh, Unstoppable. And this collects issues 19 through 24, and the giant size, Astonishing X-Men number 1. going to show off some of this artwork on the back. Uh, but yeah, what I've read so far, oh yeah, hold on, I didn't read the, I haven't showed you, the spines, uh, they're nothing special, just forgot to show them off. Yeah, nothing really special. Kind of stand, kind of stand, um, average spining spines. But uh, I have liked what I've read so far, and because uh, I heard this was pretty decent, and it was recommended. Just showing off some of the artwork a little bit without spoiling too much. Uh, I really like the artwork. It's like it's like this. I can't remember when this series came out when I looked it up, but I know. It, uh, it looks very nice for back then. Granted, not back then wasn't bad. It's just, uh, I don't know where I'm going with it, but yeah, that's where I stopped reading. But like I said, I like the art. It's really decent. Uh, cause personally for me, like I know it might be a petty thing, but for some comic comics for me, I will not read it. If the art is not to my liking, sometimes I've dropped a few comics because the art was pretty bad granted the story might have been great but it's like the art is just bad like you can't get behind it kind of like like apply that to any movie animated movie like could you really watch it like imagine if like toy story had like subpar animation yeah the story is fun but like if the animation was bad i kind of contributed to this but thank god the uh, art is good in my opinion because they're like i said uh what I'm basically what I'm acquainting to is some later issues of Aquaman New 52. The art was kind of iffy in my opinion, and I had to push to get through it. But then once we got to uh, a different run, it got a whole lot better. But uh, enough with the uh, uh, yammering on. This has been my unboxing of Astonishing X Men volumes one through four. Uh, I'll see if I collect the other volumes because uh, that's a different run. This is just this run. Um, I'll, I'll check out the other volumes if I can find them for cheap. Because uh, I'm not really looking to spend like 60 plus dollars in the whole set. Um, but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down if you like it, and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one. Peace. Bye.